Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Skak Men's Soccer for this match between the Trinity Tigers and the Austin College Kangaroos. Austin College coming into this one off of a 4-1 win at Shriner on Friday nights. They have a 2-0 record in the conference, 7-3 and three overall. It's already a better record than they got in 2022. They had six wins in the month of September. That's their most since 2016. They've already hit the most wins in a season since they've joined SCAC. It's their best start since 2014. It might even be longer than that because that stat was before they played on Friday. So they're having a heck of a season. They're up against it, though. They haven't beaten Trinity in a long time. 1-23 for them. Last match was a 3-0 loss here almost exactly a year ago. But dangerous side. They've scored some goals. Louis Catchpole. It's my play to watch today. He's, the Englishman's already scored 10 goals this season. He's dangerous. He can lay them off. He's the first player to double figures for Austin College since Thomas Quick did it in 2017. He scored and assisted on Friday. There's going to be someone the Tigers have to watch out for. I'll run you through the lineup here. Starting goal will be Everardo Garza, transferred from Murray State after the Kangaroos lost two keepers this year. Pierce Weir, he is one yellow card away from a suspension. Louis Catchpole had that goal and assist on Friday. Max Mundorf, he comes in. He's the one change. He comes in for Daniel Gomez. Kyle Nyman, Josue Bravo, Justin Adjukovic, Alejandro Berachoa, scored on Friday. Joshua Campbell, first-year defender from Cypress, Texas. Leo Renteria scored his first career goal on Friday. And Ben Shrib, first-year defender from Richardson, Texas. Are uh, your starters for the Kangaroos head coach, Taylor Goy, in his second season at the Kangaroos. He's from Frisco. He played as a midfielder for the Kangaroos. He was coach of the women's program at Rangers. Gave them a national JUCO ranking for the first time in the school's history. They're going to be wearing the whites today. For Trinity, they're coming in off of a win on Friday. Saw them get past Dallas 3-0. They're second in the SCAC right now. Come in with a six, seven, one and two record and two and one in the conference. Number 25 national ranking. Run you through the Tigers starting 11 for this one. Austin Wilman starts in goal again, the Englishman. Peter Blank scored on Friday. He will start. Jack Eubank. Shanna J, Louis Instrel, Adam Knutson, Joseph Curry, Jesus Rilos, Will Powell, and then two changes. Luke Mayfield returns from suspension for this one. He will replace the injured John Connor Rule, who I won't expect to play any role today after that injury. I suspect that he is out for this one. And then Michael Meese getting his first start since his injury. Last year, he will start up front for the Tigers. He replaces Jack Downs, the Englishman. So there's your 11s head coach for the Tigers. Paul McGinley, the field to named after him. He's quickly approaching 550 career wins with the Tigers. Play to watch today for me, Peter Blank. He's been very good defensively all year for the Tigers. Scored on Friday with a perfect header. It was really good, really well done header. Just a soft touch, put it past the keeper. Made it 1-0. If you didn't see the women's game, it was a 6-0 win for the Tigers. Who just pulled away, had too much for Austin College. 
Both teams coming in in good form. It's going to be interesting to see how this one plays out. Tigers will be confident, but Austin College in the middle of what is potentially looming as their best season ever are going to be eager to prove that they are as strong as they look on paper. And this will be a heck of a chance to do it. These teams keep getting announced. So it'll be Austin College in the white. It'll be the Tigers in the maroon. And the big moment as Michael Meese gets announced. Double All-American, I believe. I believe he's an All-American in high school as well as college was Michael Meese. Yeah, All-American in high school and college. We're going to go ahead and do the anthem, so I've got to put us on mute so they don't pull us off of YouTube. And we'll be back after the anthems. Teams are ready. We are ready. Here it's a pleasant day, nice day for soccer for these two teams. So we should be able to keep the pace up. Temperatures drop below 80, so we're all in jackets now. Or at least I am. It was a really hot start to the season, so the change is welcome. Even if it's only going to be here for a little bit. 77 right now. The wind has dropped, but still taking it down, it feels like 75. Yeah, John Connor will definitely not going to play. That knee is in a brace, and he is not in <laughs> boots or anything ready to play. So John Connor will be out for this one. Yeah, we'll talk about that later. Watch Peter Blank. It's a big Frankie de Jong fan, as you would expect for someone from The Hague. Just in the SCAC on a roll in 2021. But this season, two goals already this year in his eight games. One assist, one goal was a game winner. That was on Friday. First game winner of his career. Was the first goal of his career. Was the first game winning goal of his career, I should say, on Friday. For Austin College, Louis Catchpole, goal and assist on Friday. He has four game-winning goals. And they've all come this season. Young man from Kent in England. He's already served a suspension this year. He had a red card. He's a penalty-taking option. He is from Kent, but he moved to Texas as a youngster. Went to high school at Friendswood. Looking for his 50th shot on target and his 20th of his of the season. The players just getting their final instructions, both teams from their coaches as they get ready for what should be an entertaining game. Austin College. Deceptively named, because they're named after the person, not the city. 
So they're in Sherman, Texas. Philip Deal, former director of the US Mint, went to Austin College. So the Tigers are ready. They're going to be in the Moran. Because Trinity right here in San Antonio, Texas. Have produced professional player Matt Cardoni played in goal for the Tigers and then played in goal for both the San Antonio Scorpions and San Antonio FC. Teams will break from their huddles and get ready. So it's going to be Austin College in the white. They're going to go from left to right on your screen. It's going to be Trinity in the maroon going from right to left. I was pretty sure that meant they lost the toss because that's not normally the way they go. And they did because they're kicking off. As we get ready. Shannon Jay forgot to take off some uh, earrings, I think. But he's ready now, ready to go. And we are underway here. Chris Hoffman with you for Tiger Network. As the Tigers get us started. I'm sent long, headed away. Headed down for Mies. That is a foul. Big shout from the Trinity bench. There will be a free kick just inside of the Kangaroos half. Or just outside of the kangaroos half, I should say. Veloz on the ball. Plays it forward for Knudsen, who goes to ground, wins a free kick. An attacking position for the Tigers. We saw the women's team score from here. Similar position through Hannah Khan. And I will say there's a few attacking options there lining up to take it. So we've got a few players over it. We'll see which one is going to take it. Knutson stands over it. He's often the set piece taker, but normally a delivery rather than a direct shot. Also Jack Eubank. Standing over it. So we'll have a shot here. From Knutson, goes across, well saved. Getting down low, that is a good save from Gaza. Dive down low to get there. Tiger shaping to go short, and they do. They play it out to Veloz, goes far post. Cleared away by the Kangaroos. Yeah, Gaza transferred from Murray State where he hadn't played to replace the players lost. Flicked on by Meese. Couldn't find Knutson. It's going to be a throw for Trinity. Level with the box. And now Kangaroos with their first sustained attack here. Comes wide, cleared away. It was a good ball trying to find Mundorf. Missed clearance. Falls for Ware. Pierce Ware has a go. It's kept in. Venturia. Going back. Resetting the Kangaroos. Trying to build something out. Najukovic. Through the middle. Controlled by Ware. Played through the middle. That touch may be a little short. Forced away to come back and get it. Crossed in, far post, headed away. By Powell. And the Tigers end up winning a throw. Ball went forward. Referee just pointing out that he wants it further back. Don't think anyone really meant to play it forward, just that's where the ball rolled. Goes back to Powell. 
to Knudsen. Sorry, Instrul. Back to Powell again. Powell and Instrul. No, it's by, gone past Instrul. And now the Kangaroos with a chance to hit on the break. Mundorf. Mundorf on the ball, standing up his defender, played it forward, but maybe a little too tricky. This is a little too much on it. Stood up and blocked it well, did Veloz. And unfortunately for the Kangaroos, Berochea couldn't get around it enough, and it's a throw for the Tigers. Thrown back for Eubank. Veloz and Eubank passing it around under the pressure. As Wilman switches it across to the other side. Mayfield back from suspension after that red card. Goes across to Eubank. Knutson calls for it and then plays it on for Ed Jay. He's quick, but he's surrounded by two. Player dives in, gets around him, gets around the two defenders. Goes into the middle, Meese with a heavy touch, gets the shot away, but it's blocked well. Veloz plays it out for Instral. They want the offside, it doesn't come, but the keeper does well. Blocks the ball, picks it up, plays on quickly. We've got a high pace for this one. And in the weather, you can keep this high pace going for a while. We've seen teams try and play a quick tempo, but early in the season, it just didn't work out because of the heat. You couldn't keep going for too long. But now, Trinity closed down some options, but that's a decent ball. Headed away by Veloz, but it falls favorably anyway for Campbell. Campbell sending it forward for Berachoa. Berachoa back for Ware. Instral dives in, gets the ball off the feet of Catchpole. And Tigers will work on it. Instral makes a turn. He's got support in Veloz. He'll go to the wing instead. Meese gets ahead of it, doesn't go the way he wanted it to. Is it cleared away by the Kangaroos? Good ball out for Mundorf. Veloz trying to stand him up, and he has done, forces him back. Ware plays it forward, good triangle passing. For the Kangaroos, was looking out wide, but it was telegraphed, and that allowed Eubank to clear. Blank on it now, Dutchman. Plays out wide. Mayfield. Meese on the ball now. Good ball for Instral. Ajay called for it. The call was caught by Mundorf, who came in and blocked, allowing the Kangaroos some possession here. Goes across for Campbell. Campbell has to play it back for Djukovic. Djokovic and Campbell linking up at the back. Players making movements. Got Mundorf forward. As the two just pass it around, there's no pressure. Now played forward for Berechea. Good ball to Campbell who passed it on. Got the return pass from Mundorf. Keepers have to come and he gets there. Catch pole, making the run. Couldn't get on the end of it. And Wilman will roll it out. Tigers. Get us going. Heavy touch from Blank, but he clears it away. Meese is there. Couldn't get there. Good header from Ware. Played back to the keeper. He's got some time. Pressure coming from Meese. Kangaroos on the ball. It's taken away, though, by Powell. Blocked again. And now the Kangaroos on it. Mundorf wants it wide right. That's where it's going to come. He's got to run a forward in Berechea. There's a good run coming as well there from Shrib. Good through ball, but the flag's gone up. And so the Tigers will get a relieving free kick. That's a good start for the Kangaroos. Kangaroos will be happy with this start, I think. They've done well, they've looked dangerous. Oh, Wilman to send it away. Wilman's a little cold, evidently. Got the long sleeves on under the jersey. I haven't seen that yet this season. From Escher, England. Or I would have thought he'd be used to much cooler weather than this.
Tigers passing around the back. Blank with it now. Goes out to Mayfield. Control forced backwards by the Ruse defence. Went into a contest, but a good pass to Veloz to get out of trouble. Good work there from Curry. Goes wide for Ed Jay, who's going to use his speed to get around the defender. Has to cut in. Went back. Ball's fallen favourably for Curry. It's blocked. Comes out for Powell. Cut back. Good block defensively. Veloz is going to head it on. Ed Jay just couldn't control that. And now the Ruse will rebuild again through Mundorf. Options for a switch, also options short right. That's where he goes to Berichoa. Berichoa played back. Adjukovic on the ball, goes all the way back to Gaza. In the goal, the Arlington player. We'll get a look at this run here from AJ. Did well to keep possession and good cut back to Joe Curry. But good work defensively from the Ruse defence to keep that one out. Good block. As Blank sends it long, looking for Ed Jay again. Just a little beyond him, he stretched out, couldn't get there, it's a throw. For the Kangaroos, through the first 10 minutes here, still scoreless between Austin College and Trinity. Control from where was a bit heavy. Tigers now with possession. Mandoff tried to get there. Goes out for a throw for the Tigers. And Veloz will throw it in. Throwing down the line, looking for a J who tries to turn, can't do so. And it's going to be a throw for the Kangaroos. Thrown in. Catch pole, trying to control. Stayed in well. Veloz was trying to get there. Knutson gets there, wins the foul. Referee gives him a very stern warning. Next time it's a yellow, he says. That would have been a very silly yellow to take this early in the game. So fortunate, referee had some mercy on him. Meese plays it back to Mayfield, sent long. Knutson tries to win the header. Good leap from the Kangaroos though. Ajay can't get it clear. No man's off. It's gone out, it's a throw for the Tigers. I'll play it up the wing. Play it up the wing. Knutson comes away with it. Deflection. Gonna fall favorably for the Kangaroos. In a passage of play that Paul McGinley calls sloppy. Which admittedly, the throw wasn't won by the Tigers, it just fell favorably. Played back by Mayfield. First year defender. Served his first suspension as a college player on Friday. Blank on the ball, captain. Goes out to Mayfield. Mayfield back to Blank. Just waiting for something to open up. Goes across to Eubank. Eubank. Eubank has Knutson, who's made a run, but he hasn't played it quick enough. So Knutson will stay forward a little bit with a switch with that Jay. So Jay's playing a little deeper. Just changing where players are. Mies is back a little bit too for the Tigers. So they're going to look to make runs from deep. Goes along the wing. Finds Knutson. Had the space to control it. Kept that at his feet. That was impressive work from Knutson. Opens up space. Cuts it back for Instral. Instral to Mies. Mies plays it out to Powell. Cross in, blocked. Powell plays it back for Veloz. Drew the defender, went out to Powell. Powell making a run down the right. Has to get around his defender, he does. He's got options to cut it back. To Ajay, who tried to backheel it in. It's cleared away by the Kangaroos, who keep possession. Through Berichea. And a throw in for the Kangaroos. We're going to look at this one. Tempted back heel. You know, if he got more purchase on there, that was in the back of the net. Mundorf. But the Tigers come away with it. Curry. Goes to grounds. 
On a foul, it's a yellow card early. So an early yellow card to Max Mundorf. Just came in a little late. We'll get another look at the free kick here. Sorry, not Mundorf. I got the wrong player on it. It was Campbell. Just came in across a little late. Yellow card. Puts the switch on. Controlled there by Eubank. Throw for the Tigers. Veloz with a throw. Mies is calling for it. That's where he goes. Lays it off for Curry. Sporting headband for the first time this season is Curry. Veloz. Mies wants it. The danger of Mies is he draws all these defenders and that leaves other players open. That's a beautiful challenge. He's away looking for Mundorf. It's going to run. So it'll be a throw from Eubank. He's flying it for Mies. Grails it. Under pressure. Back for Eubank. Plays it back for Blank. Good attempt at shutdown for Berechea. Just can't get there though. Played up the line by Mayfield. Ball played for for Knutson. He's got to make a decision. He tries to play the ball around. He's clipped him. And it's going to be a free kick. He looks at the referee and shrugs, but definitely clipped it. So a free kick for the Kangaroos through the first 15 minutes, if you can believe it. Scoreless here between Trinity and Austin. Goes in. Telegraphed pass. Tried to cut it out. Did make some contact there. It's going to be a free kick. That's Knudsen. Initial challenge was fine, but he stayed down there hacking at it and caught him. So it's going to be a free kick for Austin College. Mayfield goes up high but can't win it. Ball played back by Blank under pressure to Eubank. Eubank goes long, but that's going to go over, over everybody. Headed on by the Kangaroos. Comes down, telegraphed Curry. Put under pressure. It's going to be a free kick. Two shots on goal for the Tigers. None yet for Austin, but... Curry over it. Plays it back for Blank. Two saves for Austin. One of them on the free kick. A really good save. Did well to get down low. Plays it in for Mies. Playing it over the top. Looking for a J. Just a little beyond him. He stretched and couldn't get there. Get it down and away by the Ruse. It was Campbell who won that header. Good touch back from Instral to find Eubank. Eubank goes down the left for Mies who swaps sides. He's got support from Veloz. He rides one. Turns. Gets past two. Can't get past the third. This is fouled. Pierce Weir, the guilty party. So a free kick here for the Tigers. A little further out than the first. Well, we saw a goal in the women's match from about this far out. So certainly an option to go direct. We'll see. It's Jack Eubank over it. So you get Fenner out of Raleigh, North Carolina. Finance major. Swung in this time, goes far post. Keeper comes. That's good work on the goal from Everardo Gaza. Plays it out for Berrochea. Good footwork there from Nyman. The pass just a little astray from him. And the Tigers will reset at the back through Mayfield now. Switches on for Eubank. Eubank on the ball. He's taken a deflection off of Berrochea, who stretched for it. Throw in comes quickly. Eubank goes back for Blank. Kangaroos getting ready to make their first sub of the game. Daniel Gomez, who started on Friday, was on the bench today. It's going to be a free kick for the Tigers. Daniel Gomez become more of an impact sub this year than previous years, but got his first start of the season on Friday. As Jack Eubank comes over to take the free kick. Hey, 
Sends it in far post, looking for a J, but it's going to run and be a goal kick for the Kangaroos. A little too much on it there from Jack Eubank, and they'll make that change. So on comes Daniel Gomez. Get the sense it's going to be a straight swap because he's coming on to replace Max Mundorf, who was the man that replaced him from Friday's starters. So a fairly simple switch there for the two. Mundorf will come in, playing in the middle there. Going out wide. Pressure coming from Meese. Gets a block on the ball, but stays with the ruse. So they're right as they say that. Possession changes feet. Instral plays it back for Blank. They'll look to build something out the back. Mayfield. Into Veloz. Veloz to Mayfield. Veloz has been good as that pivot defensive midfielder. Instral goes out wide right for Powell. It's blocked, and it will be a throw for the Tigers. Powell gets the ball. Going for Powell. Veloz is there. Goes over for Meese, though. Meese plays it back to Eubank. Controls with the bottom of his foot. Swings it in. Good header away from the Kangaroos. And that's a throw again for the Tigers. Balls in haven't looked too dangerous from the Tigers. They've been fairly routine for the Kangaroos to deal with. Veloz back heels for Powell, who wins the contest, earns a throw. Instral gives it to Powell, throw in again. Veloz chests it down for Powell, deflected, territorial gain there for the Tigers. Gets around one, can't get around the second, lays it off for Powell. Powell has a go, too close to the keeper who makes a simple save. And now a chance to move it quickly. But Ochea went forward for catch pole. But the Tigers will deal with it. Goes all the way back to Wilman. Catch pole, put the pressure on. But calm stuff from Wilman to play wide rights. Instral, back to Mayfield. Just looking to build up here. Blank puts on a switch for Eubank. And Jay wants it. They're going to go back for Blank. Jay asking for possession. Doesn't see him though. Instral. Surrounded by two, but he'll keep possession just about. Yes, he does. Eubank at Jay. Calls for it by his feet. He gets it this time. Beats one defender. Cuts into the middle into some space. Puts a switch on. The call was there for the switch, but it's just played behind the runner. Powell was out there. He did make the call for it. Instral at Jay saw it, but just played it behind him. So a throw in. For the Kangaroos. Josue Bravo over there. Headed down. Renteria over the catch pole to Gomez. Gomez goes to grounds. Free kick for Trinity to the chagrin. It's an indirect free kick, so he's saying that it was a dangerous situation that he'd put himself in. Cleared away by the Kangaroos again. So a throw in for the Tigers. Beracoche, thank you, Juan. That one was not in Austin's pronunciation guide. Throw in for the Tigers. Played quickly. Good work defensively. Goes for Ware. Ware plays it out wide for Berakoche. But Berakoche's ball is astray. Knudsen back on it. Goes across for Powell. Powell's in, bursting into the box. Can cut it back for Curry. Goes himself. Knutson's there, but he can't get to the ball, can't get around the defender. Where gets a clip. Tigers throw. Play 
played back to Instrol. Mies to Veloz. Over the top, looking for power. He's made the run, heads it across, looking for a J. Keeper claims well, and they'll look to move the ball quickly. None of the defenders had really committed, but the midfield had, so there's a chance, but they didn't really move it quick enough. And that pass was there for Gomez, but Gomez had already made the move. Beautiful nutmeg there from Ed Jay. Beats one. Can't beat the second, but the ball stays in. Needs some options. That's going to run for a corner, though. Last touch came off of Vajukovic. We're going to look here. Beautiful little nutmeg, a delicate touch, got it between the legs. Corner here for the Tigers, second of the day. Swung in, was looking for a J. West went over his head, defenders were able to scramble that one out. <laughs> two players on the post laugh about it. I don't, think, I don't think either of those two players knew much about it. So a corner kick here for the Tigers. Swung in again by Instral. Far post. Free header. You've got to do better when you get free like that. Heads it high and wide. <laughs> Playing it back. Pressure's there. High press from the Tigers. But goes across. Passed it well for Nyman. Played forward for Berricoche. Berricoche to Nyman. Still got Berricoche there. That's where he goes. Plays it back now to Campbell. In the middle to Ware. Just moving it around, getting that switch on. Shrib now on the ball. Berricoche was calling for a switch, but it wasn't spotted. That would have been dangerous if they found him. Plays it back for Djukovic. And Campbell, so they're working it again. But is still forward. Twenty minutes to play. Still scoreless here between the Tigers and the Kangaroos. Goes out wide for Bravo. Pressure came. Where? Back out to Bravo again. Pressure's there, mistake on the pass. Was trying to find AJ, but it's cut out by the ruse. Good recovery from Ware. Ball down the right, though, this time. We're going to find Powell. Just held up there, and they lost out. Although Mies tries to get the ball deep. Oh, it's a heavy touch, but it works out in the end. Cleared away by Gaza. In straw. Goes up for the header, loses out, but it's quit away by Eubank. Kangaroos back on it in their back line. Clearance didn't work out there. That one does from Mayfield. Mies comes back, was still on side. Veloz. Goes over to Knudsen. He's got support in Powell out there wide right. Could swing it in. Shapes to do so, but then cuts back. Goes to feet Veloz. Easy claim for the keeper. The kangaroo is getting ready to make a change. Hector Vega getting ready to come on. Senior midfielder from El Paso. This will be his eighth game of the season. Is the ruse just working around? Fight goes down. Knutson makes the run. He could cut it back. He'd have to. Mies gets there and fires at home. Good pass back to feet of Mies. Keeper did the right thing. Tried to shut down the angle. But once the ball got back to Mies, that angle shut down meant that it was wide open for Mies to put it in the empty net. We'll get a good look at it here. Keeper did the right thing to shut down that angle. Was relying on his defenders to cut out that ball. It didn't happen. Mies puts it away. And the Tigers have a 1-0 lead here. 17 minutes to play. Good cutback from Knudsen. Oh, 
Meese passing it into the empty net. And so, Michael Meese, that's his third goal of the season, 22nd of his career. And Knutson with the assist. First assist of the season, fourth of his career. As the Ruse get us restarted, just runs out. Juan Gomez did his best though. Was worried he was going to slam into the uh, into the brick out here. Good turn from Meese, has a shot, good save. Ruse quickest to the follow up, it's cleared away. That's going to be a throw for Trinity. A good response from the Kangaroos after the rebound, it's what you want. Ajay controls, just gets it stuck under his feet, but has a shot now, it's blocked. Falls favorably, blocked again. Goes and clears it away in the end. Does Josh Campbell. Veloz gets around his man. Can't quite get around the second, crumbled to the ground. Nothing doing, says the referee. Goes out for Gomez. Puts the switch on, but it only finds Mayfield, who now finds Powell. Numbers in midfield for the Tigers. Veloz is wide left. Goes out right looking for Powell. Keepers quick off his line. And claims the ball. Slides out and claims it. Powell frustrated. We'll get another look at this one. That block off the back leg. It's a good block. This clearance. That's a really good clearance. From Joshua Campbell. A Rabona clearance. That's across to Knutson, had the assist on the goal, has a shot himself. Keeper gets a save on it. Was put a little too close to the keeper. Did well, kept his body in the way, it was powerful. But was never going to get through that much body for the keeper. It's a corner. Tigers. Getting ready to make changes. Hunter Kane coming in. Also see... Coming in there, check downs. And so, end result here. Free kick for the Tigers in a dangerous position. Eubank again. He had one shot already. Was denied by a good save from the keeper. Powell making a sneaky run on the right. There's no one covering it, at least right now. Still no one covering it. Powell's there and wide open. So Eubank stands over it. He had a good shot earlier. Was matched by a very good save from Gaza. Eubank sends it in. Shoots over the bar. Good shot. Lot on it. Just a little too much. And so a change for the Kangaroos as well. Jacob Teclay. Senior midfielder, one yellow away from a suspension potentially. Subs made, ready for the goal kick. Kangaroos go short to Shrib. Played up the line here, left. Trinity dominating the shot count, 11 to 0. Part of why they're 1 0 up. Good little short passing movement. That's a good ball, good run there from Teclay. Teclay looks to beat his man, can't get it past Blank. Who plays it back to Mayfield and returns the favour. Tigers working it up. Downs. Mayfield. To Instral. Instral back to Blank. Just looking for something to build up here. They do have Hunter Kane wide left. Tigers making the run. Knutson calls for it. Was sort of hiding behind the referee. Now goes out to Kane. 
Kane looks to get around. He cuts outside. Cuts outside. Downs. Back to Downs. He had space for the shot, but it was closed down quickly. It had to be closed down there. Kangaroos just couldn't get that. It's going to be played all the way back. Vergara tried to close that one down. And it's played out now for Eubank. Had Jay once it at his feet. It's gone over the top. Looking for Kane. Kane gets there. Good work defensively from the Kangaroos to get that one clear. That was Justin Djukovic on that. Tigers maybe played that in a little quicker than expected. Downs. Seemed like it was caught between two minds of the shot and the pass. In the end, didn't either. And it runs out for a goal kick. And played it across. Torrenteria. It's on a half switch. Mies comes back and claims it. Needs some options. They're there. He's caught late, but there's advantage. Knudsen got round one. There's a turn. Blocked defensively. Good work from the Kangaroos there. Gomez. Going back here for a player down in back plate. So they've stopped the clock here. So it's going to be Valencia in for Joshua Campbell. Michael Valencia comes in. Tenth start of the season. Played back for Nyman. The ball to Teclay. Goes out wide left. Renteria. Goes in for Teclay. Mayfield cuts it out, gets around one. Can't get around the second, runs out of space anyway. Throw in for the Kangaroos, Teclay. With the ball. Thrown down the line, headed on. Teclay's trying to put the pressure on Instrul. Another Rabona clearance. Goes back for Enteria. And Jay tried to cut that out, but it was a well-played ball. And Djukovic goes long. He was looking for Vergara, but couldn't find him. Now a Jay on the run. Keeper had come off his line. Has a go, and it's saved well by Gaza. Gaza came into this game having made 33 saves, so he's up to 39 in the year. He's been busy. Short comes from Kane. Kane cuts back for Knudsen, just can't get it out of his feet. Makes a run. Looks to cut back into Instrul. Needs some options. Knudsen goes to Veloz. To Clay putting the pressure on. It's back to Mayfield. Mayfield sends it up. It's cut out. Mayfield's gotten a touch on that, so he's going to have to keep it in, which he does. Goes all the way back to the keeper. And then allow Trinity's formation to get resettled. They want a ton at the back there. And the Tigers just working it up the right now. Mayfield went long. Controlled there by Downs. Goes out for Eubank. Cut back to Downs. Out to Mayfield. Mies putting the pressure on. Maybe hints of a high boot there. To Clay. Plays it back. 
for Shrib. Shrib to Tekle, had to stretch for it, couldn't control as a result. Downs to Meese. Meese back to Knutson. Looking for options, but surrounded by three defenders to shut that one down. Downs is in. Can have a go. Shoots across the face into the back of the net. Downs should not have been let free like that by the Austin defence. And he puts it away. So a goal for Jack Downs. Makes it two for the Tigers. He was clean through, played it across the face in between the defender and the goalkeeper, Jack Downs. The man from Sheffield, England, scores his first goal of the season, 13th of his career. Perfect good play shot from Jack Downs. So 2 0 now for the Tigers. Eight minutes to play here in the first half. Knutson gathers, lays it off for Instral. There were some subs there, so he might be spotting some different players on the pitch. Mayfield, a little bit of a clumsy touch, but gets it back for Blank anyway. Mayfield controls. Veloz plays it back. Eubank back on it. Going forward. We're going to go to Shuey. Had a go on Friday. Did Braden Shuey. Tigers working it forward. Good run here from Knutson. He's behind. Has some options. Downs. It's blocked. Comes back off of him. Has another go, blocked by the defence. You could hear that ball hit the defender from here. Switches out for a Jay. A Jay has some options. They shaped to stop the cross, so he took it on his own. Knutson has a go, it's saved, but he was offside anyway. And so, Kangaroos getting ready to make some change. Adam Morales, first year defender out of Houston, getting ready to make his 10th appearance of the season. And then we've also got coming on for the ruse. Is Will Wolf, sophomore defender from Richardson. Cuts across. It's going to be cut out by Eubank. Sent long. Keeper's going to have to come under the pressure from NJ. But he claims pretty comfortably. Tigers also getting ready to bring on a player. Finnegan Saunders. First year midfielder out of Albuquerque. He was at the New Mexico Gatorade Player of the Year, which is a pretty coveted award in any state. By being a raid New Mexico Player of the Year, that would make him an All-American as well. So All-American in high school, Finnegan Saunders. Coming on for his sixth appearance of the season. His debut college season. And Jay coming out for the Tigers. Teclay has to play it back to Shrib. Headed down. Flicked over the top. He's going to have to run onto it himself, though. Headed back into the middle, but it's controlled by the Tigers. Downs. Cleared away now. Tech lays forward. Bypasses him, which is a beautiful pass. Had to cut it back. He goes out for Valencia. Valencia back to Adjukovic. Back to Valencia now. And Djukovic playing it forward. Blocked well by Kane, but it'll be a throw pretty much bang on halfway for Austin College. 
Valencia with the throw. Goes in for Vergara. Pushed in the back, gets the free kick. I think the referee was just trying to see if he could do anything with it, didn't in the end. So free kick for the Kangaroos. Little under five minutes to go here in the first half. Tigers two, Kangaroos nil. So we have a Djukovic over it. A lot of options far post, but Tekle near post. It's put, asked a question of the keeper, but he does well. Claims the ball does Austin Willen. And throws long. Going up the wing. It's basically played in between two Tigers players. Tekle over there. There's an option for the Roos, but they've played it back in the end. Valencia tries to play it forward. Instrul. Instrul downs. Veloz. Knutson now on the ball. Makes a turn. Four defenders all around him. Instrul's going to get there first. No. Teclay does well. Plays it back. And a free kick for the Kangaroos. Through the middle. Teclay fighting for it. But Tigers come away with it. Ball played forward. Kangaroos get it back. Puts on a switch. Good boy out. Good control. Passed into a little bit of a contest. Tigers just hoof it away. Going to be a throw for... The Kangaroos. Tigers fighting for possession, but the Kangaroos keep it. Back from Morales. It was to Shrib. Shrib played it back to the keeper. Puts it across to Djukovic. Challenges there. Ortiz couldn't get it clear, but it's going to be a throw. Ortiz continues his run. Controlled by Morales. And for Valencia. Cleared away by the Tigers. Valencia's throw-in technique is interesting. Those fake throws are going to land him in trouble one day. Mundorf. Lost out there. Headed away. Cleared by Blank, but straight up. And the sun has really come out now. So those high balls are going to be a little more trickier. Tigers making a run up the right. Have to play it back to Instrul as we hit the final minute of the half. Blank goes long and wide. Playing it out. Looking for Kane. Who's on it. Goes across the face. Keeper spilled it. Rebound. And the keeper recovers. He's going to lay down probably for 41 seconds would be my guess. And now we are going to stop the clock. So we'll see how long it takes him to get up. Those ones are tough when you've got to come and react quickly. He certainly copped it on the body, but he did well. Good save. We're going to look at this one. Thought he may have made a mistake on that one. He should have held it or got it out of play and then comes in. Yeah, just cops that one on the body from close range on the shot. From Jack Downs to earn the corner. Corner swung in. Looks right into the keeper. It goes away. It's going to be a corner. For the Tigers. If they want it played quickly because they don't have much time. Shaped shoot. Goes into the middle. Into the keeper. Well done. Good recovery 
from Everardo Gaza. He's technically only allowed six. So we hit the final 10 seconds. So there we go, half time here. The Tigers 2 0 lead over the Kangaroos of Austin. 17 shots to none, eight shots on goal. Six saves though from Gaza, he's done well. Four fouls to eight, one offside apiece. Seven corners for the Tigers, a few of those right at the end of the half. We're gonna look at these goals. The first goal here was just a good pass back to Mies. Just passes it into the back of the net defensively. They couldn't cover him and then this one, when the ball just came out, Powell able to get through free and a perfectly placed ball between defender and goalkeeper. Puts it in the back of the net. That's why we're at 2 0. Boston College still in this one at halftime. It's Trinity 2, Austin College 0. We've got Alumni Weekend coming up 26th to the 29th of October. And this week is Space Week coming up ahead of the eclipse on Saturday. A lot of events around the campus. Check out events.trinity.edu. For those, we'll be back here in about 15 minutes for the second half. We'll see you then.
We're back for the second half. It's Trinity Tigers up against Austin College Kangaroos. Austin College Kangaroos, the only skak mascot I have a tattoo of. We are ready. Trinity 2-0 up on the Kangaroos. The players will meet at halfway just to get some final instructions and uh, get ready for this second half. Tigers are in the maroon. They'll be going from left to right on your screen for the second half. Austin College in the white. They'll be going from right to left on your screen in the second half. Chris Hockman with you for Tiger Network. As the Kangaroos get us underway here for the second half. It's passing it around. Trying to open up some space, but the Tigers pressing high. Winning the ball back. Powell's making a run up the right. Head down. Calls for it. Mayfield sends it out to him. Gathers it. Gets inside his defender. Has to pass it off. Curry tried to find Meese, but it was blocked defensively. Tigers back on the ball, having to reset in the back line. Meese flicks it on for Powell. Powell sends it across, was looking for a J, cleared away in the end by Joshua Campbell. The Kangaroos stay on the ball. Powell gets there, gets possession back, uses his strength, plays it back for Instral. Instral to Mayfield, went over the top. Meese tries to gather it in, can't do so. And Kangaroos, well, he went to clear that with a bit more authority than he ended up clearing it. Tigers trying to win back possession. Delicate little touch there from Instral. Goes back to Blank. Over to Eubank. Meese holds off his defender, turns and shoots. Right at the keeper, Everardo Gaza. Adds to his save count for the day. Does Everardo Gaza. Pushes him past the 40 mark for the season. And Tigers building it up from the back again. Sent long over the top, looking for Meese. Headed away. At Jay, though, controls. Two around him, but he keeps possession. He's into some space now. Played out wide for Powell. Looks to cut it across. It's blocked. It's going to go out for a throw for the Tigers. And Jay gets around his defender, gets through another. Has a go, it's blocked. Keeper kicked that while he was on the ground. Phenomenal goalkeeping. Well, a house of disbelief from the Trinity bench. Tigers regather. Jay is going to feel hard done by, but that's just phenomenal goalkeeping. It's a proud member of the goalkeepers' union. You've got to stand by that one. That was great work. Sometimes you just got to flail around and get what you can in the way. That's good work. Well controlled. Got his feet in the way. Got to clear. Tigers building up again. Below's look to get around, clipped and fouled, and so that'll be a free kick for the Tigers, a chance to swing it into the box. Plays down 
for Austin, so they're going to stop the clock. Here's Pierce Ware. Takes a bit of a knock. He's limping off the field, but he is walking off the field, which is always good to see. On comes Hector Vergara. Senior midfielder out of El Paso. Has scored a goal this season. Has Hector Vergara. For the Tigers. Jack Downs to send this one in. Scored the second. But Jay can't get around it. And a foul is called, so that'll relieve it. Oh, offside, I believe, was the decision. He's got his arm in the air, so it's an indirect free kick. Headed away. That's our four, eighth throw for Austin College. For the Kangaroos. Headed away. Looking for Ed Jay. Controls off his chest, brings it down, traps it well. He's got three around him, wins the foul. Just subtle stuff, nothing serious. It'll be a free kick for the Tigers. They'll play it on quickly. Was out for Mayfield. Played in the middle. Meese trying to turn. Defenders got it back. And now a chance to counter. Good ball out wide. Austin College. Baracoche. Got it forward. Goes back now to Bravo. Bravo plays it back to Shrib. Shrib has to go all the way back to the goalkeeper. Pressure coming from Mies. Nearly got on the end of that. Shrib back on it. Goes back to the keeper again. Powell putting the pressure on this time. Enstrel stuck his foot out and got there. But Bravo on the ball. Goes for Mayfield. Plays it over the middle, but too much. Too close to the keeper. We'll clear it away. Instrel going forward for Curry. Local product in San Antonio. Ajay. Curry's continued his run. Good sliding challenge. Meese to Ajay. Downs. Instrel looks to chip it over the top. Looking for Meese. Runs out though for a goal kick for the Kangaroos. Djukovic, and it goes out wide now to Campbell. Campbell fighting with Ajay. Instrel puts a challenge in, but it's good work there from Catchpole. Going wide for Bravo. Bravo gets it around his man. Bravo back on the ball. Got support there in Baracoche. Baracoche tried to play it through the middle, but could only find Mayfield. Tried to make amends there. Curry. He's got a J wide, completely unmarked. Gets around his defender, wins the foul. A J is mad about it. That's a yellow. It's a yellow for Mundorf. Trinity think it's a second, it's not. I thought Mundorf got the yellow in the first half. Oh, he did! And so that is a red card. No, it wasn't Mundorf again. Mundorf was standing there, but it was Campbell. He's shown a second yellow there. We'll get another look at it. Yeah, I mean, he's grabbed him and he's stopping a, an attack. Well, it's definitely a foul. When you're on a yellow card, if you give the referee a decision. So Austin College down to 10 men. Jay heads it and goes away. Gonna be a corner kick for the Tigers. Now with a man advantage. Enstrel. Found AJ, couldn't get around it. Goes out for Enstrel. 
Veloz beats one, plays it out wide. We can cut it back, cut it back, but no one was there for it. Veloz is going to run out to try and contest this. He does, but it's going to be a throw for Austin College. So Campbell, second yellow card. Austin College down to 10 men for the last 38 minutes of this one. Thrown down the line. Headed forward, goes back. Heavy touch. Only two yellows in the match and they've gone to the same player. And Jay turns his man, keeps his feet. Referee's playing advantage. It's likely advantage over by now. He's got into the box. Goes to ground pretty easily. Referee tells him to get up. There's a shot. Good defensive work to get a header on that. Amazed he stayed on his feet after heading that one out. There was a lot of power behind that one. Get another look at it. That was a great header from Bravo. Really put his body on the line, put his life on the line with a shot like that. Headed clear. Cleared away by the Kangaroos. I'm going to have to make a big adjustment. Meese wins the throw for the Tigers, throws it back. Four foul. So free kick here for the Tigers, again in a promising position. Free kick here for the Tigers. We'll see what they do with it. A lot of players on the edge of the area ready for this one. Big run up though. Shot right into the wall. With a run up like that, he was always going to have a shot. Just has to get more under the ball on those ones. Goes in the middle for Mayfield. Good turn. Oh, Austin College are going to be unhappy with that one. I can't blame them, honestly. Looks like a lot of ball from my angle. Referee's on the other side, though. We'll get another look at it here. This is the other angle from what I had. Yep, and that's, that's why it's a game of angles. Because from here, it definitely didn't look that bad. But yeah, that's a foul <laughs> from the opposite angle. Thankful for the crew here at Tiger Network giving us the opposite angle to what I have. Good ball forward. Meese keeps it in, gets a block, it's a corner for the Tigers. Their 10th of the match. Corner swung in, far post. Went off his defender, a shot from Powell, it's blocked, which took the sting out of it and allowed Everardo Gaza to make the save. Tenth of the match for him. We'll get another look at this one. Yeah, the deflection really takes the sting out of it, allows him to follow the ball much easier. Comes onto him much slower. Good work from the goalkeeper. That's some good passing from the Kangaroos. Played forward. Kangaroos trying to get on the end of this. It's a contest. Good work from Mundorf to force the contest. But the Tigers now back on it. And Jay calling for it wide right. He's in space. This is where that man advantage might be telling. Goes across looking for Meese. Put a little too much on it. Meese though did manage to keep it in. Plays it back for Instrel. Think for Ed Jay on the ball. Move it wide. Gets around, has a go! But right at the keeper, good save. 
Austin College getting ready to make a change. It's going to be Michael Valencia who's going to come in. But before that, Ben Tripp takes a knock. So they're going to have to make a change for that, which will be Torren Hughes, defender for defender. Makes sense. Junior defender out of Houston, Texas. St. Thomas Episcopal. The biology major. A shrib takes the knock and will take a bit of a break. And, uh, balls dropped for the goalkeeper. It's one of those ceremonial things we've got to do. Got to drop it for him to do what he was going to do anyway. Headed away by the Tigers. Curry does very well. Good control. Gets it out for Powell. Powell crosses in. A J goes for the acrobatic bicycle. If it goes off, it looks great. If it doesn't, well, less great. He's back. Fellows on the ball. A J who had that audacious attempt a moment ago. That's a good challenge. Sees the Kangaroos win the ball back. We've catch pole all the way back there, trying to help out his side defensively. That's what a captain does. It's Ford for AJ, who's in space, looks to turn. Can't do so. Good defensive work there from Bravo. And good ball movement. It's with catch pole. Wins a throw. And the subs will come. So Valencia in four. There's a look at that bicycle. Yeah, just. Maybe misjudged that just a little bit. And Adam Knutson back on for the Tigers. Sophomore midfielder out of Dripping Springs, Texas. All-American in high school. Controlled by Catchpole. Gets it away, Meese. Arms all over him. In fact, they stopped you doing that in rugby even now. It's called neck roll. Meese on the ball. Plays it back. Eubank, across to Mayfield. Well, Trinity know about playing a man down because Mayfield got a red card against TLU. Cuts outside, looking for options. Falls back. Instrol to Mayfield. Powell. Was offside though, he came back from an offside position is the signal from the assistant. So good work there from Leo Renteria to move forward and catch him off. Free kick for Austin College to swing it away. Looking for Beracoche. Tigers will win it. Comes out for Mies who switched over to the rights. Powell's made an overlapping run. Finds Curry. Curry back for Instral. Instral to Veloz. Who switches it out. For the new man, Knutson. Ajay. Stood up well defensively. Instral. Goes out to Ajay. Wide left now. Ajay to Veloz. Playing it in the middle. Looking for Knutson. But he was double teamed. Bit of a mishap in the back. Chance here. Curry cuts it back. It's blocked. And a corner for the Tigers. Good work there for Curry. Right move to cut it back, but a lot of defenders around him. Put the block in. We're going to see a sub. Will Wolf getting ready to come in for Austin College. I think he's going to replace Bravo. It's away for a throw for the Tigers. Instral for Ed J. Instral going far post. Knutson has stepped off his defender, but it's well read. Good work defensively again from Leon Entria. Scored his first career goal on Friday. The man from Princeton, Texas. Gets to tell everybody he went to Princeton. Tigers swinging this one in. Kept along the deck. Look to cut it back. 
Goes back now. Swung in this time. Can't get over the defender though. Will we catch pole. Shot. Back across the face, off the bar. Followed up by a J and it's blocked. Cleared away. Everybody in the box. Almost 21 players in the box on that one. Goes all the way back to Wilman. We'll get another look at this one. Good control from Knutson. Was sent across. Another one across from Veloz to Blank, who scored on Friday. Smashed it into the crossbar. Another sub getting ready to come on for Austin Collins. It's going to be Adam Morales. And Austin Brown as well. Tigers now trying to work it. Just used his skills on the ball to get around. Saved by the keeper. It's spilled. Pow at point blank range. Puts it over the bar. Maybe wasn't expecting it to fall to him like that. Yeah, a bit out of position. Certainly wasn't expecting. Was off balance. Hit it over the bar. Did Will Powell. Man from Bexley, England, junior defender. Only has one goal in his career, so nearly doubled his career goal count there. <coughs> Hasn't scored this season, though. Ball sent long. Mayfield kind of shanks that clearance. The Roos trying to get it forward. <laughs> 11 saves now for Austin College, Everardo Gaza. He's done pretty well in the Austin goal. If they didn't have him, they'd be in a lot of trouble, but that's partially because the laws of the game state you have to have a goalkeeper, so that would be a problem. Knudsen on the left. Not allowed to turn. Cleared away by the Ruse. Curry does well to get on that. Tries to open up space for himself. Doesn't have a ton of support, so he'll go back for Mayfield. Blocked out for a throw for the Tigers. Blocked it out for a corner for the Tigers. A good challenge there. From I think it was Wool Wolf with the challenge there. Or maybe Leo Renteria. Corner for the Tigers. If you're just joining Austin College down to 10. Yellow card about 13 minutes ago. Corner goes in far post. Couldn't get the header away. Under the pressure. Now the Tigers play it all the way back to the keeper, Wilman. Looking it up the left here. Ajay turns and gets the ball. He's going to have to cut it back. Goes to ground. Corner kick for the Tigers. 14th of the day. Just kangaroos readying some changes here. We've got Samuel Vasquez and Jacob Teckley. Comes in, keeper comes and claims. Good stuff. Plays it on quickly. That's what they're going to need. Down a man. You've got to play these moves quickly. Try and catch Trinity out. Good ball for Morales. Turns. He's got support there in Wolf. Wolf on the ball now. He's got two around him. Can't get it past them. Tried to play it right through the middle of them. Comes out though for Renteria. Renteria to Wolf. Back for Beracoche. Now with Vergara, has space, has a go, it's blocked. And then Trinity play it back off 
It's going to be a corner. So when you're a man down, you've really got to make these set pieces count. Corner kick here for the Kangaroos. It's going to be Berricoche to send this one in. Sophomore midfielder from, Mc from McKinney, Texas. Goes in, middle of the box, headed away by Trinity. Comes out for Torrin Hughes. It's floated in, but too much float on it. It's out for a goal kick, and we'll see those substitutions now. Tickle and Vasquez come in. Tekle needs to be careful as well. He's on suspension watch, so if he picks up a yellow, he'd miss the game. On Friday as well, which is the last thing they need. Already down one for that one. Ball goes out wide for Eubank. Eubank back on the ball. Plays it across to Blank. Pressure there from Tekle. But they got it around him. Mayfield making a run now for the Tigers. Goes back to Blank. Pressure comes. Instrul. That pressure's paid off. The Ruse get the ball back. And now a chance to do something. Big switch. Looking for Vasquez. Can't find him. Keeper will claim. And play it out. Wide left, Eubank. Tigers working it up the left. Over the top, looking for Mies. He's not going to be quick enough for it. And it's gathered by the keeper. Plays out quickly. Pressure coming for Powell. If he could have got that, that would have been a lot of trouble. But good work in the end from Will Wolf. Hanging up the line. Blocked. And a throw for the Kangaroos. Mayfield coming forward. Curry looks to turn. Can't do so but does draw the foul. He draws that foul by moving the ball across to his other foot. So, ball would have been there, but he moved the ball to the other foot, gets clipped. Free kick. Mayfield puts a big switch on. Gathered down well by Eubank. Eubank playing it for for Mies, who looks to find that Jay. But he can't do so, it's gonna be a throw for the Tigers. Tigers getting ready to make change. Hunter Kane coming on and Braden Shuey. Shuey scored on Friday. The junior midfielder, Braden Shuey. His grandfather played football at Georgia. Did Braden Shuey? Or oh, Braden Shuey's grandfather, I should say. He's a product of the SC Dallas Academy because he's from Frisco. And if you play soccer in Frisco, Got a decent shot. Good run there. Got it around his man. But he's going to have to loop back his Knutson. That goes back. Good work from the Ruse. Mies puts the pressure on. Keeper clears. Mayfield comes to claim it. Hoofed forward. Knutson grabs it. Heads it down. Kane, fresh off the bench, controls. Crossed in, blocked, vital block, keeper claims. Gets it out quickly. Mayfield sending it forward, was looking to hit our J, but couldn't. It was a good throw, was looking for Tekle. Blocked out at J's in space, gets past his man. But the Ruse recover well. And J puts the pressure on, gathers the ball again. Could lay it back. It's gonna have to cut back across the face. It spills over the line. No. Yes, it does. Yeah. Was confused for a second by the symbols. He certainly 
Doesn't take a lot of credit for it. You could see him having a laugh as it spilled over the line. Just really deflected off of him and into the back of the net. You can see him here. He has a bit of a laugh about it. But it hits the back of the net. They all count. Hunter Kane. He'll certainly be claiming after. Well, I don't know. The way he reacted. I don't know if he will be complaining after the fact that he meant to do it. Fourth goal of the season for Hunter Kane. So Hunter Kane, fourth goal of the season, 14th of his career. Makes it 3-0 for the Tigers. I don't think he knew much about it, but they all count. The assist, though, Shanna Jay gets that one. Sixth assist of the season for him. 15th of his career. Players being substituted off. 3-0 now for the Tigers on a somewhat fortuitous goal. You can see from Hunter Kane's reaction, he certainly wasn't intending to do that. But that's what you do. You run forward and get in the way. Stick it in the back of the net. 3-0 Tigers. Now the Ruse trying to do something with it. That was Catchpole who played it over. But Nyman couldn't get it out. Back to Nyman. Goes over the middle looking for Catchpole. Looks to turn. Fouled. Free kick for the Kangaroos. When you're man down, you've really got to make these free kicks count. 20 minutes ago, red card. So Austin College playing with 10. Renteria. Cross. Bravo. Looks to chip it over the cross, looking for catch pole. Had a goal and assist on Friday, but he's not going to chase that one down. A goal kick for Trinity. And that's going to be a change of goalkeeper for the Tigers. So Joshua Lynch comes in. Junior goalkeeper from Hendersonville, Tennessee. He was the only one that made a save on Friday. Zach Anderson also coming on. He played the full second half on Friday. Sophomore from Davis, California. Not the former Gold Coast United player. There's a throwback, a club that doesn't even exist anymore. So Anderson replaces Knutson. And Tigers get us going with the goal kick. That was a fairly promising moment for Austin. Sent long. Mies is making a run. Keepers off the line, out of the box. He has to head it. That's going to be a throw for Trinity. Thrown in for Anderson. First touch for Anderson. Kane, the, the goal scorer, throw in for the Tigers. I don't think I've ever seen a goal scorer so reluctant to claim it. At Jay on the ball. Getting around the man. Meese just couldn't get away from the ball enough. So it's away, Austin College. Going to build here. Throw for the Kangaroos. Another throw here for the Kangaroos. Controlled by Shuey. Over the top. Blank clears it away. Downs. Plays it back for Mayfield. Mayfield forward for Meese. Certainly been the most minutes Mies has played this season. Big switch on. Controlled. And now the Ruse working it up the right. 
Good run here. Just needed a little more support. But difficult when you're down a man. Had Jay on the ball. He's standing out with his tall frame there against his defender. Goes across looking for Mies. Wide open. Good save from the keeper. There's a follow-up. Downs on the ball. Looks to turn back out to Mies again. Two on him. Has a shot. It's blocked. Throw for the Tigers. And that's going to be the sub. And so Kaysen Dilworth coming in. First year midfielder from Shirts. Played the full second half on Friday. He comes in. A little under 15 minutes ago. Here's a look at that clean through shot from Mee's great save. From Everardo Gaza. As we're back underway. Mies turns. Blade the ball off. Just couldn't work out. Controlled well from Kane. Going far post for Mies, who's wide open again, but is offside. Which is probably why he was wide open. A lot easier to be free of your defenders when you're offside. Played on quickly by the Roos. Goes down, that's just going to be straight to Mayfield. He'll bring it down, went a little behind him. Dilworth finds Downs. Downs went back to Shuey, who played it out wide for Eubank. Tigers working up the left now. Lost his balance on that one. And that's going to allow the Roos a chance. Shuey's going to try and put the pressure on for the Tigers. Goes to grounds. Good work from Mundorf to win the foul. Pressure on. Tigers getting ready to make two changes. Finnegan Saunders, Lucas Yell, getting ready to come on. Sent long. But a vital block there from Shuey. Plays it back to Blank. Who goes across to Mayfield, who returns the ball. Blank. Going long. Mies is there. Can't quite control it. He's kept it in though, but the Ruse will come away with it. Good work there from Kyle Nyman. Laid off by Bravo to Renteria. Renteria plays it out wide right to Shrib. Has to go all the way back to the keeper there. Clears it away. He's looking for Nyman. Nyman gets a header on. It's all about that follow up. There's Biracoche. Good ball movement from the Ruse. Better Coche back on it. Puts a switch on. Good ball to find Shrib. Shrib plays it across to Renteria. It's already Vergara, not Renteria. Goes in the middle. A little flick on. In behind. Plays it across. Too high. Chance there for Better Coche. Couldn't get on the end of it. Cleared away by Dilworth. And it's a throw for the Kangaroos. Throw in by Bravo. Back to Bravo. Better Coche. Just couldn't get on the end of that. Could Nyman. Tigers will have to work it to get it out. Now a big chance on the counter. There's only two forward. The Tigers have numbers. If they can move the ball quickly. A J. A Jay's through. He's got support in Mies at the far post. Good block. Forces him back. Soft ball. There's a go. But it's over the bar. From Hunter Kane. And a line change from the Tigers. Aronson comes in. So does Salvador O'Brien. We saw Luke Chandler as well. And Cameron Smith. Cayman Islands Youth International. As we get some techers from the keeper. Everardo Garza. 11 minutes to go here, 3-0 for the Tigers. Playing a man up after the red card to Campbell for Austin. Two yellows, only two yellows of the match. They both went to the same man, unfortunately, for Austin College. Goes over to Shrib. Shrib goes along, looking for Mundorf. 
Mundolf did well to make a nuisance of himself, but it's going to be a throw for Trinity. Throws it back. Dilworth. Tigers just working it around the back. Pressure's there from Catchbolt. Goes wide left for Smith. Smith sending it long. Anderson's going to hold that one in. Lays it off. Back to Anderson again. Anderson's in behind the defense. Good slide. But Anderson gets to his feet and gets the ball. He can cut it back. Lines up the shots across the face. Decent effort, though, from Finnegan Saunders. Good pass back to him. First year midfielder Finnegan Saunders. He was an All-American. He's already got an All-American award this year from high school. Smith flicks it on. It's going to be a free kick for the Tigers. Throws it away angrily behind the referee, which is a smart move. Dilworth lays it off for Smith. Smith up the wing. Anderson back on it. Turns. He's pulled back. It's going to be another free kick for the Tigers. Bit of a territorial gain on that free kick. And controlled by Chandler. Chandler back for Dilworth. Dilworth lays it off for O'Brien. Brian out for Cam Smith. Smith on the ball. Playing it forward. Tigers just passing it around now. Aronson. So back to Dilworth. Dilworth to Anderson. Anderson and Chandler passing it around. Dilworth sending it far post, but too far. Only to the defense, headed away. And it's a throw for the Tigers. Smith controls. Up the wing again. Tigers go again. Gets around the defender. Cut it back. Just goes in between and goes to the defender. Cleared away well by Campbell. And Tigers gather. Chandler lays it off. And it's now with Smith. Smith to Anderson. Anderson can't quite get it away. And it's a throw in for the Tigers. Smith with the throw. Finds Saunders. Saunders can't get the turn. And it's a throw again for the Tigers. Thrown down the line for Kane. Kane will have to try and cut it back. Wins a corner for the Tigers. Their 15th of the day. It's a difficult corner to take it from, though. You've got to run down the hill. Looks like Zach Anderson running over to take it. Anderson does have an assist this year. Goes short, though. Kane crossed in. Good diving header to clear it away from Catchpole. Not the end of the pitch Catchpole's used to making diving headers at. Anderson looking to play short to Kane again, maybe. Yes. Kane on it, crosses in. Dilworth, header, keeper claims. Good claim from Garza. Swung in. Pressure's on from Dilworth. That's a foul. Good run from Leo Renteria. Going out wide for Nyman. Nyman played it for Renteria, but lost out. Anderson now in some space. Soft ball, though. Tries to recover. Ball played back. Goes long, wide right. Good control there from Mundorf. Mundorf looking to get around Smith. Smith staying with it. Gets the block on. Still with Mundorf though. Mundorf doing battle with Smith. Keeps possession. 
Needs to try and get around Smith. He does, but not enough. Missed clearance, but the second defender's there to clear it away. Still with the Kangaroos. Bravo cuts inside his man. Goes over the top, headed away. Dilworth on it. Aronson. Cross to Anderson. Anderson goes wide left. Looking to play it into the middle. Finnegan Saunders making a run. Keeper came well. And is fouled. So it's going to be a free kick here for Austin College after the foul on the goalkeeper. We're going to stop the clock to check on him. It's the second time he's gone down. He, the first half he copped a powerful shot right into the ribs. We'll get another look at this one. Yeah, not much intent to get the ball there. Finnegan Saunders turns his back to it. And smashes into the keeper. Probably lucky to avoid a yellow there. Here's Saunders. Catch pole. Keeps his balance well. He had support. Went on his own. Tigers back on the ball. Catch pole frustrated. Tigers back on the ball. Shuey goes over the top. It's going to go out for a throw. For Austin College. Thrown down the line. Austin just can't keep possession there. Anderson lays it off. Heavy touch, but chance maybe for a shot? No. He'll lay it back off. Anderson with it again. Anderson plays it forward. Opportunity to get it into the box. Controlled, little heavy shot. Did take a deflection, so it's going to be a corner. From Ribeiro's shot. A corner here for Anderson. This time he is going to swing it in. He's not going to go short. Swung in near post, couldn't control, but does eventually. Goes back out to Anderson. Anderson swung in, middle of the box. Confusion there in the box, it's poked home. Austin couldn't deal with it. Poked home by Lucas Ribeiro. After Austin just didn't get it clear, didn't deal with it enough. And Lucas Ribeiro scores his first goal. We're getting a look at this one from a different angle. Crossed in by Anderson. So many numbers in the box. Sorry, it was Luke Chandler with the goal. From that angle, I can actually tell it was Luke Chandler. First goal of his career for the Glaswegian. Makes it four for the Tigers. Blocked. Tigers trying to win it. Shuey sending it forward for Ribeiro. Goal kick for the Kangaroos. Played short. Heavy touch. Kangaroos looking to build it out. I like committing to building out, even down a man. Shrib plays it around his defender, looks to use his speed. Gets there and wins a foul. That's the advantage of using your speed, getting in front. So maybe you won't win the ball, but you will win the foul. We're going to stop the clock here. He's down. Maybe cramp. That's what they seem to be treating, but it looked like he was grabbing his leg. Those hurt, though. Those cramps laid on in a match. 
Those really hurt. Anyone who's ever had a leg cramp while they've been doing something like that. Those bring you down. It's going to be a free kick for Austin. 127 on the clock. Shrib, he's been involved a lot too. He's done a lot of running. First year defender from Richardson, playing in his 11th game of his career. I'm going to have a sub. It's going to be Torrin Hughes coming on for Shrib. We'll get a look at the foul here. Yeah, just a big shove on him. Easy call for the referee. Free kick and then, yeah, immediately started grabbing his legs. Limping off. He's coming off on his own. I don't think that is cramp, to be honest with you. But that's certainly what the uh, what his teammate was stretching him out for, was a cramp. So 127 left. Trinity for Austin nil. Enough time for Austin to get something out of this. I'll throw some men forward. Austin playing down a man for the last 38 minutes of the match after Campbell was shown a second yellow card. Now we'll get some treatment here at the end of the match. Kangaroos get us back underway. Brought down over the top. Keepers come, gets there. Tigers now. Building up the left as we One hit the minute. final minute of the of the match. Dilworth, good pressure there from Renteria, just didn't come off. Played forward, long ball for Ribeiro. That's a handball. Falls to his advantage, falls right to his feet, and the Ruse still keen to try and get something from this. Tigers on it, slid in. Referee says all ball. Tigers looking around. Not a lot of time left. No real need to go for it. We'll see what they do here. Plays across. It's going to be a goal kick for the Kangaroos. Shaping to move it on quickly as we hit the final 10 seconds. But I don't think we're going to get this back into play. So next up for the Kangaroos. They're going to be playing St. Thomas on Friday for Trinity. They're making the trip to Trina up the road. They'll play them on Saturday. Before a long trip to Colorado College. We're going to look at these goals here. Is the first. Good run. Cut it back for Meese. Left with an empty net to pass it home. Sunday, October 22nd. Taking on goes away in this one. Got around. Created a lot of space. Had a shot. They want an assist for that. We'll see. We'll see what the decision is. And this one across the face. Didn't know much about it. Deflected in off him. You can see his smile. The laugh on his face. But he'll celebrate in the end anyway. And then Anderson crossed this one. The Ruse defense just didn't deal with it. And the first goal of his career to Luke Chandler, the defender from Glasgow. We'll get a look at these stats. 34 shots to nil. So 17 shots on target from the Tigers. 12 saves from the Ruse keeper. Did a great job. Was certainly in the wars. 10 fouls to 15. Two yellow cards there for the Kangaroos to the one player. Four offsides for Trinity against... It's one for the Kangaroos. And 17 corners to one. That's it for the Tigers. That's it for me from the men's team because once they're back, I will be on vacation. So it's been a pleasure bringing you these games this season. The women, they're back on the 22nd. There's some volleyball on Tuesday. But it's been a pleasure being with you today and all season. I've been Chris Hogman for Tiger Network. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you next time.